Hello everyone, Kyle here from Wide Awake PH. So today, we're visiting Deuces Coffee here in Makati City. We'll be checking out their filter menu. I'll be ordering a filter coffee of my choice. And Sam will be ordering a decaffeinated latte. This is gonna be fun! speaking with one of the staff here at Deuces and they mentioned that they changed their suppliers for their filter coffee lineup. So before they were doing cold black uh, from Australia but they weren't satisfied with cold black's current menu because they're still using coffees from one season ago or the previous harvest season. So now they opted for La Cabra coffee. So they're roasting out of Denmark. They're, they're a pretty popular specialty coffee roaster. Um, and they have a whopping 11 filter coffee options to choose from, which is massive. And the coffees range from their standard line all the way up to the, their more special slash competition slash top shelf line. So the standard stuff costs 250 bucks per cup, whereas the top shelf coffees cost 500 pesos per cup. Also, when I was speaking to one of the staff here, they mentioned that 80 to 90% of their customer base purchases sweetened coffee drinks. So for them to even offer a lineup of 11 high quality specialty coffees on their filter bar at all times is very impressive. It shows that they're legit, that they're dedicated to offering us a really competent coffee experience and I hope they can continue. But if I were to be a little bit more nitpicky, I would say it's virtually impossible to dial in 11 filter coffee options in the menu perfectly at all times. Like think about it. If you only have this much beans and they're aging, how will you find an optimal recipe for those 11 filter, op uh, filter coffee options? It's going to be very difficult and virtually impossible unless you're willing to waste so many beans. I think it would be much better flavor-wise if they only had around three at the time, maximum. So that's just my, my nitpicking. But of course, if you're a more regular coffee customer, um, you wouldn't mind. You'd actually be excited to have 11 options in front of you. So I understand that decision. So I got a decaf latte because if I have caffeine before lunch, I will die. Um, compared to compared to what I usually have from Wide Awake, it's a little more on the nuttier side. Uh, it's darker. Um, you don't really taste a lot of the distinct flavor notes, but it's a really good latte. It's a lot better than what I would get at like a Starbucks. Um, I think the texture is perfect. Uh, it's good. So I ordered a Costa Rican SL28 coffee. What's also really cool is they used the 16 gram dose and then they brewed it in a size 2 V60. And then they ground the coffee using a ditting lab suite. So really cool stuff and I'm pretty sure this is going to be good. So now that I've almost finished um, my Costa Rican SL28 honey processed coffee, I can share with you some of my thoughts and observations. Overall, I think it's a really great cup. It's a really great filter coffee. Um, considering all the other cafes I've been to, it has a very well-balanced presentation of the flavor notes. 
like given how they brewed it and the equipment they used, you should expect a fairly good cup of coffee. And it is a good cup of coffee. I'm tasting... I'm tasting a very strong kind of brown sugary note. And then after that, I'm getting a lot of berries, like a raspberry kind of tone. But I feel like this good cup of coffee could have been an excellent cup of coffee if they brewed it a little bit differently. So if you notice in the um, section where we filmed them brewing the coffee, the way they did it was they did it a bloom, a circle in the center pour, and then followed by a continuous single pour in the center of the coffee. So what that means is they weren't really agitating the coffee bed so much. And as a result, uh, I find that the acidity present in a coffee like this, which is very lightly roasted, wasn't emphasized. So I'm getting a slightly muddier cup than what should be. So, you know, <sighs> so like, am I disappointed? No, <laughs> because in Manila, there are very few coffee places where you can get coffee of this caliber. So it's still a very good experience overall. And if you're curious about, so what's up with specialty coffee, you know, just drop by here and order one or two filter coffees and you'll pretty much understand what it's about. So that's always great.